Hey everyone, it is me, TNTN, and I'm back with another episode, and this is a tutorial, but it's actually a remake of a tutorial. If you guys would, um, if you guys do not know, I have basically hit, uh, not basically, I've hit 10,000 views on my Infinity Room, uh, a video, and it sucks because that video is so low quality, it absolutely sucks. Uh, but, I mean, like, people are watching it because they need to know what, how to, like, make this Infinity Room. Uh, so I'm going to basically be remaking that video and it should be so much better quality because I have a gaming computer now and you know I just thought that I should definitely do this so I I'm also just doing all the things I'm like saying all the things I left out and I'm also going to say what this room could be used for so let's get right into this video Now really fast, a few things. All credit goes to Grin, okay? I got a lot of comments in that old video saying, oh my gosh, you're copying, please do not copy, blah, 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 blah. Guys, I am just showing you guys how to make this. I am not trying to copy at all. Grin's the real genius behind this, uh, and I give full, full credit to him. I'm just showing you guys how it's done because Grin did like a very, very short tutorial on it during a Let's Play of the Hermitcraft server. Uh, next thing is, this only works for Java, I'm pretty sure. And it might also work for Windows 10 Edition, so Bedrock, I think. Uh, but it definitely does not work for console or anything like that. So just a heads up, if you guys want to make this, make sure it works for your version first. Test The like, most simple thing to test out is to take an item frame to see if this works. Um, just any old item frame and just a regular old map and just slap it on there and then put a little wall and see if the item frame can go right there. See, see how those connect? See if it can do that, and if it can do that, then it should work for your version. Also, make sure that that little pointer thing cannot be found. I don't know why it showed up here. It usually doesn't. It's weird, but it, sh it shouldn't bother the finished thing. <laughs> Oh, it was showing up there because I was actually in the map. You won't usually be in the map where you build this. Also, this creates a lot of lag. So if you're doing this on a, sh uh, on a server, make sure you do the finished product like pretty small. It'll still look big and like infinite, but make sure the actual room's pretty small. This will all start making sense in a little bit. But if you do a too big of room, you're going to have some humongous lag spikes and it's not going to be pretty for servers. In fact, Grin actually was making an infinity room and he made it too big and he it was so much lag that he had to actually like take it all down and make it way smaller. Now that all that has been cleared up though, um, I'm going to just basically show you guys how this is done. Um, so basically, if you look on this map, you'll see a lot of white. I was testing out what you could use because basically you need a bunch of white block that looks pure white to make this infinity room. Uh, and if you look, you can use snow, diorite, white concrete, uh, white concrete powder, quartz, and white stained glass to get all the same white, which I was actually really, really surprised about. So you'll see where I'm pointing at right now on the map is the snow. Uh, I believe this is the diorite right here. This is the concrete powder, and this is the concrete, and this is um, the quartz. Oh, and also the glasses right here. I also tried end stone. That did not uh, look correct. And I also used white terracotta. That did not look correct either. Uh, so you can choose out of all these. And of course, snow blocks too will also uh, have the same uh, color. Now, I suggest uh, going out really, really, really far into your world. Uh, just anywhere to get started because you're going to need a super flat world that like no one's using, basically. Uh, so just go super far out, and the flatter the better, because you're going to have to make it all flat. So I'm about like 200 blocks away from spawn, so that is definitely good enough. Uh, so now I'm going to get started. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be placing snow. You might actually want to get a map out uh, and make sure it's all loaded up. And then basically just start placing snow and fill up this whole map. And of course it doesn't have to be snow, you can do whatever really. I'm going to be using snow though, just because why not? <laughs> now, if I did not make it clear, you have to literally cover every single block in that map. Uh, and I have done that with cheats. Yes, I use commands because I'm not sitting here for five hours filling all this in by hand. It is definitely possible, though. 
Uh, so it, this is just what it takes to make this crazy infinity room. I know it's a whole ton of work, but I believe in you guys, and people have done it before. <coughs> Grin. <coughs> now once you're done, it should look something like this. And if you take a map, it should look like this, all white. And I'm sure you guys already know what's happening at this point. <laughs> so now take a whole bunch of empty maps and just spam. Just keep on spamming and maybe get like a few shulker boxes <laughs> uh, so that you can bring these all back to your base. Because, yeah, you're, you're going to load up your inventory fast. <laughs> like really, really fast. <laughs> Now, once you have your maps, I suggest going to wherever you want to build this. <laughs> Typically far away from wherever you built that map thing. And then you want to grab a whole bunch of either glowstone or you uh, want to grab um, sea lanterns, I think they're called. Yeah, sea lanterns. Uh, you just need something that emits light that's also a block. And I'm pretty sure the glowstone and sea lanterns are the only two blocks that actually do that. Uh, and then this is basically going to be your room right here. Uh, so it's up to you how big you want to build it because I'm in creative mode and I have basically limited resources. I'm going to build it a decent size but not too terribly big just because I don't want to make like a... Because uh, you'll we all understand a little bit later. <laughs> uh, but let's just say there's a lot of hard work that's going to be done and I cannot cheat to do it. So... Uh, it's a, that's a pretty good size and then you can build up these walls however large remember not to make this too big because each map that you place and item frame is an entity and that will create a lot of lag uh, and then also if you make this super small you won't be able to tell because it looks like it just goes on forever anyway so uh, just do about how big you want it and then once you're done come back to this video Totally off subject, but I just noticed like the animation that's actually in Sea Lanterns. I never noticed that before. It's actually really cool. Anyway, uh, this is how big I'm going to make my room. And there's a few ways you can get in and out of this thing. Uh, and I'll actually get to that a little bit later. But the next thing you want to do is fill this room with item frames. I know that item frames are really expensive. You're going to need a whole bunch of leather. That's why you can't make this too big. Well, that and lag as I keep on mentioning. Uh, and then if you also do that on accident, like you just saw me do, uh, just take it out because it just gets annoying later on. This shouldn't take too long, and this is why I did not want to make my room too big, because I cannot cheat <laughs> item frames in, sadly. So I made that mistake my last video, and it took me about half an hour to get it all in. And yes, I understand people in survival, uh, you're going to be kind of dying afterwards. Uh, but just keep on going. It's, it's alright, you'll, you'll get there. Uh, this this room is really 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 hard but I mean the effect at the end is just amazing so just keep at it <laughs> once you have that you want to take your map and you want to put those in the item frame and you'll already see like where the effect is coming and you might want to make your exit right now before you get trapped in here uh, so there's a few way to few ways to make the exit uh, for me, wait, okay, so that's the wall. I couldn't tell if there's more. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So about middle is like right about here. So I'm just going to take out all of these blocks and I'm going to make a drop down basically. I'll show you guys another way to make it uh, in just a moment. Uh, but this is what I'm going to be doing for right now. And that's what it kind of looks like right now. And you'll wonder why do we have these gates here? And that's actually because item frames can basically be placed literally anywhere. Uh, so if you cover your gates like that, you'll see in a little bit, once I actually put all the maps in, what this drop down is going to look like. And I'm going to say right now, it's pretty cool. Uh, and basically you can just like put the maps in and it'll look totally solid. And then you can just fall right through the gates, which is awesome. And then you can put some right here and you can even put some right over here by the gate if you really want to get this a solid effect just like that and then all the ones down here too oh missing one right there my bad uh and you will find like a few item frames that are missing that always happens uh but i mean for the most part yeah you can see it's already coming along really really well this is what the finished product is going to look like just in a larger scale basically uh so yeah, I'm just going to put all the maps in and I'll be back in a second. So now this is what the drop down looks like. So if we just fall into here, whoa bam, we're in this weird room that doesn't look too terribly weird right now. 
And now that I have the floor and walls done, you can just see how weird this effect is. I'm gonna finish up the ceiling and then you'll guys really see the full crazy effect. <laughs> and here we go, I went into F1. We just go down, it's so weird. I'm moving my mouse around, you can't even tell. This is just such a crazy effect. And if we grab, the like, way you can like get out of this room though is if you grab some items, just toss them around, you can kind of figure out where things are. Still pretty difficult, but it definitely, definitely helps. Uh, so now I'm going to show you guys one more effect with this and then also a way to get out. Now once again, this effect was of course made by Grin, not by me, but if we hop down, now there's just, oh, gonna pick that up. Now there's just a single door just like floating in this just white and Grin called it the Matrix Room. I never watched the Matrix, but I'm sure that there's something like this and it's just a really, really weird and cool effect. Uh, and then to get out of this is by going like forward and you can do this wherever you want you don't even have to do it this way but if you walk forward from here you'll see that i did the gate effect and then if you walk forward more you'll see that you go into another infinity room and i think if you walk in this direction yeah there we go then you can go up a little water elevator now if i head down again i'll show you guys exactly how this is done just in case you guys don't quite get it yet, which is totally fine if you don't. This is why I'm making a tutorial on this. Um, basically, this is just, once again, another infinity room. And then I did the gate effect again. And then you can actually place item frames in water, which is super awesome. So if you take a look, basically, I just did that effect over here. And it works super duper well, like usual. I mean, like this effect, it does some crazy things. Only thing you have to be careful of is to not close the gates on accident or else it will destroy uh, the item frames around it. But it's not too terribly hard to fix. You just... <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm doing really bad right now. Ugh. Oh well. And then you place the map. The map. The, the map. The, uh, <laughs> you guys get it though. Now you can pull a grin and make this into like a meeting room as something to do with it. I'm going to go into like the what to do with this awesome room effect. Uh, so you can pull a grin, do a little meeting room, you know, if you're on a multiplayer server, just if you want to have a meeting with yourself, I guess, in like a single player server. I'm not going to judge if that's your cup of tea. Uh, you can also make a as a weapons room. Or you could use it as a place to trap your friends and kill them. Mm, yeah, I don't really suggest that last one, but if you wanna, you can. <laughs> don't worry, that was a duplicate of the room and also is covered by obsidian. Uh, but you can also, going off of that last one, you know, like killing your friends, you can also do something kind of like this. And then if they start to walk around, I don't even know where it is. If you start to walk around a little bit. Uh, uh, where is it? I can't find it. Ah, there we are. Yep, mm -hmm. there, yep. Fun stuff. <laughs> Now we're back in the first world that we started out with to show you guys how to make literally the easiest infinity room ever, as long as you don't care about the color. If you take a map and you go out way into the ocean, and I mean like far out, like really, really far out, and yes, I'm in 1.14, as you guys can probably tell because the weird chunk loading stuff, but you just find a little bit of a map that's just pure blue, just like this. I'm sure you guys can guess where this is going. <laughs> Literally all you need for this infinity room is a lot of ocean so that you can get this map. And then you need 10 of these maps. Uh, you need 10 obsidian, one flint and steel so you can get into the nether. Uh, just a stack of any block to just bridge up and grab 10, um, I believe it's 10, yeah, 10 glowstone from the nether. And then go back into through this portal. And I'm doing this in one clip, guys. I mean, seriously, it's that easy. Uh, and then all you have to do is take your 10 glowstone, uh, put one into the ground, two, 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 put one up there or any block really of that stack that you had, and then just 10, um, uh, 10 item frames around like this. 
and then your map and put it right over here and you can make a drop down if you want to but literally this i'm just trying to make it as simple as like physically possible put the last map in and now it literally looks like this room goes on forever even though i'm stuck in a one by like two area that's the simplest way to make an infinity room i mean you can't argue with that that's super duper simple it's not white but it's super easy and it's a it looks absolutely incredible so yeah i mean like i think it's worth it <laughs> last thing that i want to show you guys is this really cool effect this room is not that long and it looks like once you just like go it will just like stop immediately but you can actually go in through this look at that effect i love it so much i love this type of entrance i forgot to put this in earlier um, but just like look at that and actually one sec. All right So I've made it a little bit nicer and also now it goes way 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 farther back I'm actually flying. I think it's yeah that far back. It's so cool guys I love it so so much also uh, last thing before I leave uh, You can also use this to decorate nether portals. I mean like this is just grass like dirt over here which is kind of like gross, but I mean, like, you can make this nice and blue, and I cannot get rid of this, these edges, sadly, but, I mean, this looks pretty dang cool for a portal. I mean, like, I might actually have to start doing this for my um, base and whatnot, uh, like, on my, uh, on the Rosecraft server. But, sadly, that's all I have time for today, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, then please uh, consider hitting that subscribe button. It really, really does mean a lot to me. Um, if you guys want to see more tutorials, then please leave a comment because I usually do Let's Plays. But if you want to, like, see another tutorial, just let me know. I'll totally, totally do it. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to check out, uh, Rosecraft server, go into my videos. Uh, but I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!